that's sand, right? I mean, that's, that's sand, right? What'd you do, hit the, uh, hit the pump again? Yeah. Stir up some more? That looks kind of more coarse, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's like, well, there's a lot of white in there. I mean, sometimes it could just be shavings from the drilling. And it looks like there might be some discoloration of the water. We'll check it out. Okay, update on the well progress here. It's not looking real good because we flushed out the tank and we expected there to be some sediments in the bottom of the tank, but now we've got it coming straight out of the well. So it's coming up from 160 feet. And uh, when you take a water bottle and fill a water bottle in it and look through it, you can see the sediment. So it's probably too much sediment that you can't filter out, especially if it's continuous. At the bottom of the well casing, there's about 40 feet or so of well that's supposed to go into a rock. But somehow sediment, you know, actual sand bits, are making its way into the well casing and up 40 feet to where the well pump is hanging inside of the casing. So the well pump's at 160 feet, the bottom of the casing's at 180, and the bottom of the well is at 220, I believe. So if you think about that, you got about 40 feet underneath of the pump where there is a six inch hole in the ground where there's water. And that water has sediments in it. And either that sediment's coming from the sand washing down the side of the well casing, you know, 180 feet of well casing, or that sediment is down in the bottom where the water's coming from, from the aquifer. All right, guys, I'm here with Greg from Bush Services. He's the one that drilled the well originally. He's the owner of the company. And uh, he's come out here today to check on the well. As I mentioned earlier, it's got sediments. It's got some issues that we need to address. I'm gonna turn this camera around and let Greg explain exactly what he thinks we have here and what he's gonna do to fix it. Well, what do we got here? Well, what happened on this well is we drilled down and we hit a cavity. And apparently that cavity's got a little bit of sand in it. So we're gonna drop our drill rods back in, wash it back out, and we're gonna put a two inch filter screen in there to uh, stop the sediment from coming into the, to the pipe where the pump picks it up. Okay, so we got a, a, a pump that sits down about, a, uh, the water table is about 140 feet. Right. We got 180 feet of yes. casing. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, the pump is sitting down at the 160 foot mark. Right. So on the bottom of that 180 feet of casing, you're gonna attach how many feet of screen? Um, we don't know yet. We're gonna, we're gonna set our rods back in there. We may drill it a little bit deeper. Um, we don't know at this point, but we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, wash it out, clean it out, and, and see what it's gonna take to make it right. All right, guys, I'm gonna record this while we do this. I think I mentioned earlier, I have that concrete pad above the well or around the well, and that's not making Greg's job easier, but we're gonna see what we get into. Stay tuned. All right, as we talked about, the pad, the concrete pad is in the way. And this is a big truck, and it's got a lot of overhang but it's only got so much overhang. Greg was kind enough to do a little interview there and explain what he's gonna do, but I'm gonna try and keep the camera out of their faces too much just so they can concentrate on what they need to do, which is fixing my well. But he doesn't seem overly concerned. You know, he, he runs into this problem all the time. So we'll, we'll have a resolution. Oh, you already disconnected the tank. That was quick. It's footer on the first foot, so you can roll up on it if you had to. Really close. <laughs> sure, Greg appreciated my help. Just to show you how close this is, his tire is right up against the concrete. He's got one of his spuds right there on the concrete. And there goes the derrick. The Craig just so calm, you know, come back an inch, come back an inch, and we're hitting the water tank, and he's just so calm, I'd be freaking out probably why I don't own a well drilling business. Okay, so that white pipe is the down pipe for the actual well pump. The green and red cables 
probably a black cable there as well, are what powers the pump. So Greg mentioned a filter pipe. And if you see, see this filter pipe right here, and it's got a bunch of uh, slits in it. And they look like they're bigger slits than this one, which has more fine slits on it. So that's what will go up underneath the well casing. And that'll filter out sediments before it gets to the pump. And that way you won't have sediments in the water, you won't have sediments in your pump, you won't be wearing out your pump, you won't be you know, clogging up your toilet uh, valve so that that, you know, it's always leaking because it's got sediments in the, in the valve. There's no good things about sediments. So let's get them out of here. What they were doing there is they got a drill head to drill into the rock and they're just adding lengths of drill bit to the drill head and I don't know how long those pieces are the very bottom of the well to the rock is 210 feet we looked at the drill spec sheet I think I've been saying it was a 220 foot well but it's 210 foot well according to the spec sheet they got to put in 210 feet of drill bit to get down there so that's our well pump that's what sits down 160 feet and sends water up through that 160 feet of, I think it's one and a quarter standpipe. Schedule 80. So he flushed out the well and you saw all that sand sitting on the concrete pads. I don't know what the right term is, but he said it's filled with sand or washed in, I think is what he said. But that's not supposed to be there, right? Because the bottom of the well should be in a limestone rock. But he recalled when he drilled the well that the rock was kind of soft. So maybe the rock pulverized down at the bottom and that's why we have sediments, but um, it's obvious they're right there. Now we've got further evidence that the well was silted in. Screen that will go down inside the well. You see the rubber gasket where that'll seal to the inside of the round well casing. So they're pulling out the drill bit now. You can see them get to one part of the drill bit segment. They use that wrench to loosen it up. Then they separate the bit. Lift it up. Put one end in the tray, lower it down until the bit is in the tray, and then unscrew the quick disconnect, and then screw it back in, and pull out another section of pipe. Okay, 
bit is out, and there goes the screen. I stop it, and then we'll glue it. Here comes the second piece of the screen. bit to push that screen down deep. I guess he knows how deep to push it. So that last piece of screen had a rubber collar on it and you saw that rubber collar right at the top of the well and now he's using the drill bit to push that I guess it's 60 foot of screen to push that down to the bottom of the well and that'll be below the pump. The pump's too big to go inside the screen so that's going to have to go down at least 160 feet because the pump suspends at 160. I've been in the woods playing. You've been out here working on the well. What, what we got? What'd you do to fix me up? Everything went good. We washed back down to the bottom. We drilled an extra 20 foot, so we're 240 now. Okay. And we set the, uh, the filter screens in there. It was excess. And then you'll see in the video, we were blowing air in there, causing the water to come back out of the well. Okay. We do that to agitate it, cause the sand to pack around them screens. Okay. All that went good, and we just put the pump back in there, and um, now we're fixing to uh, test it. How many feet of screen did we put in? Uh, 60 foot. 60 foot. When you say you, you blew air to put um, sand around the screen, that won't fill in the screen? No, sir. No, sir. What we do is we blow air down into the well, and it uh -huh. brings the water out, mm -hmm. and as the water's coming in, it'll bring that sediment, sand, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. it'll bring it back into that borehole and it'll pack around that screen. Okay. So we've got, um, we're at 160 with the pump. Right. So we're what, two something on the well now? We're 240 foot on the 240, well. 240, so we're 160 is 40. We're we 80, 180 foot of case. We're 80 feet below the bottom of the pump now for clear well. 60 foot. 60 foot, okay. Yeah. And we never hit like hard limestone rock, right? No, it was, it was soft. You it, seen it when we drilled it. it but soft. it was soft limestone? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's get this thing back together. Do we want to run it? Um, yeah, we are. Just we run are. it like open? Yeah, we are. We're going okay. to get it all hooked back up. That ain't better, Greg. <laughs> Taking years off my pump light. That's sand, right? I mean, that's that's sand, right? I mean, I saw the uh, the slits. But, I mean, you can feel it, gritty. I saw the slits, so they came that came through those slits in the uh, plastic. All right, so we've let this run for about, I'll say an hour. I, we haven't timed it, and the water has cleared up a lot. And uh, we're getting there. Greg assures me that this will be a good fix, but uh, it's definitely a lot clearer than it was. He reassured me at the end. He, I said, well, you know, is it a good chance this thing is good to go now? He goes, yeah. He goes, it, it should be good to go. And he goes, if it's not, I'll drill you a new well.